The Sikorsky HH-60M Blackhawk, a four-blade, twin-engine, utility tactical transport helicopter used by the U.S. Army since 1979. It's a powerful and modular piece of modern machinery that plays an essential role in medevac operations worldwide. But what's more impressive than a Blackhawk testing Vita Inclinata's rescue system? How about two Blackhawks? We travel to the Montana National Guard to test our Vita rescue system on side-by-side -side Blackhawks. A legacy hoist system versus Vita's rescue system that makes operations faster, safer, and more precise. The two crews are, admittedly, skeptical about Vita's technology. But they're always up for a battle. For Vita, challenge accepted. There will be three exercises. The first, successfully complete a hoist with a simulated rescue. To count as a completed hoist, the crews must insert the rescue kit, load the patient, hoist, and extract the kit and align to the aircraft. Both teams can start their mission the moment they reach the edge of the flight line. The second exercise, stabilize rescue kit at speed. The final exercise, a head-to-head -head race from a hover. Once their rescue kit touches the ground, they'll have a 60-second mandatory countdown to simulate loading a patient. The clock stops when the litter is aligned to the aircraft on the third hoist. First one to complete three hoists wins. The lighthearted banter turns serious as the crews execute their preparations. And then, they're off. Both helicopters take a lap and come in for their first hoist. They don't know what's coming, but we do. The Vita crew reaches the starting line and drops their litter well before coming to a hover. The ability to easily execute a dynamic hoist reduces aircraft exposure and buys precious minutes. In competition, that means bragging rights. In a rescue situation, those same few minutes save lives. The Vita crew inserts their litter with virtually zero hover time at the 40 second mark. Their 60 second mandatory patient load timer begins. The legacy team arrives and begins lowering their hook and tag line to the ground crew. The Vita team is already dynamic hoisting out. The Vita crew is able to cover distance while extracting dynamically. Total mission time on this exercise for the Vita crew? Two minutes and three seconds. The legacy team is tethered to their ground crew with tag lines. It takes two full minutes for them just to get their litter on the ground. But they don't wait the full 60 seconds. They jump the gun and only stay on the ground for 15 seconds. We'll have to add a 45 second penalty to their total mission time. It takes the legacy team 45 seconds to get their litter back up to the helicopter. Double the time it took the Vita crew. The legacy crew's total mission time is 4 minutes and 53 seconds. The Vita crew begins the second exercise. They take a lap, accelerating to test the stability of the system at higher speeds. As the Blackhawk comes back around, they drop the litter at 80 knots. The test shows that even at speed, the rescue kit doesn't move. The Vita rescue system allows dynamic hoist insertion that provides the aircrew and pilot complete control, rather than relying on coordination with the ground. Final exercise, a head-to-head -head race from a hover. First one to complete three hoists wins. The two helicopters line up, prepare, and launch. The Vita crew drops their rescue system at top speed with no spin and clocks in at 26 seconds. No fighting rotor wash, no need for tag lines. The legacy team is almost able to match at 32 seconds. Then, a 60 second ground timer starts for each team. The Vita team extracts and aligns the litter against the Blackhawk within 46 seconds. The legacy team completes their first hoist in 3 minutes and 2 seconds.
the Vita team completes their second hoist with a time of 1 minute and 58 seconds and starts their third hoist. Meanwhile, the Legacy crew begins their second hoist but can't quite complete it before the Vita crew finishes their third and final hoist in two minutes flat. The Vita crew wins. Three fully executed hoists to one. I'm gonna spin the guy here real quick. Oh, this is our thanks to the Montana Guard for showing how our system can save lives by those who do it best. <laughs>